What's going on guys? I am with Moose and today I'm bringing you my first head-to-head -head online gameplay in Diamond Dynasty. Here's the lineup on the left. Mookie Betts leading off, Buddy Bell, David Wright, 99 overall, 94 Ted Williams, BJ Upton right behind him, or Melvin Upton Jr., whatever you want to call him, Adrian Beltre, Francisco Lindor, and then Jonathan Lucroy with Noah Syndergaard, Thor on the mound. This dude had an amazing game, as you guys can probably tell from the thumbnail and uh, title and whatnot, but let's get it going here. First inning, Mookie Betts leading off. And of course, I'm too eager to you know just go swinging right away. This is one of my first online games. The guy we were playing definitely had a worse team than me, but he still did have uh, Diamond Josh Donaldson, not too bad, and um, you know a few like decent players, a couple golds I believe, and uh, mostly silver team. Obviously, like I said, my team is much better, and I definitely should have won this game. But uh, you know, it's it's just an interesting game, and obviously, it was early on in my uh, skill rating or, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, that's just what happens is you just face worse teams, basically, because they're also lower skill rating. So without further ado, let's get into it, though. Two base hits right away, and then Ted Williams up next. All one count. He's going to rip one to right uh, or to the right side, but that one's going to be gobbled up by Albert Pujols over there. Uh, only able to get one at second base, though. And Melvin Upton here, one, two count, two down, and swing and a miss. A very good pitch to hit, honestly, a kind of hanging slider right there. But, um, you know, I guess no big deal. Strike out, and uh, obviously there's more innings. It's only the first inning. Uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. Now, here in the third inning, he actually gets a nice rip down the right field line. I believe that was his first hit of the game off Syndergaard, who had been pitching very well to that point. Gives up a double there. We got to try to work around that, get it out here, and, uh, you know, don't let him score. He runs are at a premium, what I, is what I've noticed, in head-to-head uh, -head for sure. So definitely don't want to give up any if we can. And uh, that's why what we're, we're going to be trying to do uh, you know, a long cut here and try to see exactly how I deal with Kevin Kiermaier with a guy in second base. I, I want to go high low, you know, change the guy's eye level. Don't let him, uh, you know, know exactly where I'm trying to pitch the ball. That's the main goal right here. And also Kiermaier has good speed, so I'm kind of aware that he might bunt. I mean, it would be a little weird with a guy in second base, but we try to get this strikeout right here, and that's exactly what we do. Nice change up down low in the zone. Uh, below the zone actually and gets out number one on a K and then Jack Morris up next we get high fastball start him off he's gonna swing right away with him instead of bunting to get the guy over to third I know there'd be two down but I still think a bunt would have been in order there instead he's gonna be at second try to tag up and Mookie bets his arm pretty much denied that completely now Billy Hamilton up next obviously a bunt candidate as well at the beginning of the game I went through and uh, made sure my infield was playing in or my, my corners were playing in against uh, guys like Kiermaier and Billy Hamilton because I knew he had that kind of speed. Now, he do throw a wild pitch right there, but he does swing, making it an 0-2 count. Now, he does get the guy over to third, but if he had bunted him over with Jack Morris, that might be, uh, you know, the first run of the game. So that's kind of just where you got to play the fundamentals of baseball. But he does get a little check swing, kind of, you know, bloop hit right here. Thank God David Wright making a play on Billy Hamilton, who has crazy speed down the line. And we're able to get the final out of the inning. Now, moving into the sixth inning here, still a scoreless game. Still Jack Morris on the hill for him and Noah Syndergaard on the hill for us. He's getting a base hit, though, setting the table for us. I believe our fourth hit of the game right there, maybe our fifth or sixth, something like that. I had really scattered hits every once in a while that I didn't really want to bother showing. Uh, only wanted to show the uh, more important parts. And then Buddy Bell launching one to right field. This one gets over the right fielder's head and into the little uh, section where those fans are kind of below. Uh, in the wall and that's pretty cool two run home run for buddy bell almost 360 feet on that one now moving into the bottom of the sixth inning with a two nothing lead of course noah Syndergaard. i'm not thinking i'm going to be able to give up any runs let alone two so i don't know what this guy's thinking but kevin kiermeyer is up and he's going to rip one to center field i kind of misjudged it with bj upton and he's going to be able to get all the way to the wall with that one throw it in and uh, thankfully hold him to two instead of three obviously kiermeyer with good speed but um you know, a double's a double, and that's, you know, that's all he needs is a runner on base. And then, hey, if he gets into one with Justin Turner right here, the pinch hitter, that's a tie game. So we got to be very aware of it. 0-1 count, and he is actually going to hit one pretty well to center field. Thankfully, uh, B.J. Upton able to go over and make that play and, um, you know, actually make a great play. And then a great relay throw as well, and we get Kiermaier at third. I don't know if it was because the guy left late or something. Uh, you know, left late uh, from second base or what What that was. But that was pretty crazy that we got him at third. <laughs> but we'll take it. Any out is a good out for us. And, uh, you know, that was a huge one because if he's on third there with only one out, because um, that was only the second out of the inning, 
If, if he's on their third with only one out, they could easily score a run with, you know, pretty much anything, a fly ball, whatever it may be. So uh, definitely much uh, appreciated to see that. Now, right here, a absolute rip by Carlos Correa. BJ Upton going to track it down with that 93 speed. A great running catch. I don't know how he didn't run into the wall. Had incredible, uh, you know, breaking right there, but uh, very, very nice catch. And uh, just showing off his skills in center field. He is a great pickup uh, and honestly not too tough to get. He's the uh, Rays Team Epic player, if you did, if you guys didn't know. And honestly, one of the more accessible ones for guys that don't want to spend a bunch of money or uh, don't play, like, all the time. He's actually pretty darn easy to get because uh, the Rays collection or, or set or whatever it's called is really not that expensive. You know, it's you, know, you need Chris Archer and Evan Longoria, so it's not too bad, but... Let's get back into the game here. I'm, I'm rambling on. Kevin Kiermaier once again is up and obviously been uh, an issue for us. But we get the crazy curveball. He swings super early. Strike three for us. And uh, we're moving into the uh, eighth inning here. Or ninth inning, I should say. Sorry. Uh, and <laughs> PJ Upton just does not miss one right there. That is an absolute bomb to left center field near that go Brewer sign into the bullpen. Uh, Adrian Beltre up next, of course. But 440 feet for uh, Melvin Upton Jr., very, very impressive home run. And uh, obviously, Adrian Beltre up next. He's playing first base for us, which is kind of interesting. My team does change a little bit. So, uh, you know, what you guys see in this might not be what you see in the next video. But in general, it stays the same. But I know Adrian Beltre did change out for uh, Paul Goldschmidt, who I actually pinch ran with. He's on second base now as he moved over. And then Jonathan Lucre at Cole Batters later gets a base hit up the middle with that solid speed. We're coming home with, uh, <laughs> with Goldschmidt. He's going to score. No way we would have scored there with Adrian, even with the bad throw. He would have been out by a mile, and instead we're taking a 4-0 lead here into the ninth inning. First batter up, he strikes out on a nice curveball by uh, Noah Syndergaard. And you guys can see his pitch count is like at 60 pitches. It's actually pretty crazy. Billy Hamilton up next, he strikes out on a curveball as well. This guy was swinging at way too much, i got to be honest. That is something, a cardinal sin in, uh, online for sure. And then Ken Griffey Jr. gets into one pretty well, but not good enough. That one's going to be a pretty routine fly out to Melvin Upton Jr. in center field. And that will end the game at uh, you know a 4 nothing victory for us. Obviously, like I said, we should have won this game. We had a better team and all that. But I still thought it was pretty fun to watch. Noah Syndergaard, absolutely dominant, pitching nine innings, only giving up three runs. And... Um, had, I believe, eight or nine strikeouts as well. So, very nice game for Syndergaard. Very nice game for the team overall. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, though. If you did, please leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys later. Left six men on base.